In our last few videos, we talked about the basics of a variable frequency drive, its three sections, and how it converts an AC electrical input to a mechanical torque at the output of the motor shaft. In a standard VFD, this is a one-way street for current and power. In this video, we'll talk about how a line regen unit is used when a motor generates power back towards the VFD. How do line regen units work? Power flow in a motor is bi-directional. If the speed of the motor matches the applied torque, it is in a motoring operation and converts an electrical energy input from the VFD to a mechanical energy output at the motor shaft. If the speed of the motor is in the opposite direction of the torque applied, it's in a generating operation and takes a mechanical input of energy at the motor shaft and produces an output of electrical energy back towards the VFD. So in these two sections where the torque and speed are in the same direction, you have motoring, and in these two where the speed and torque are opposite, you have a generating operation. What I've just added is a braking resistor circuit to the VFD. Whenever the motor is in a generating operation, the drive must dissipate the excess energy generated, otherwise you risk damaging the IGBTs and causing a drive failure. How the braking resistor circuit works is the transistor switches on once the voltage reaches a certain level, and then the excess energy is dissipated across the resistor as thermal energy or heat. Braking resistors are nice because they protect the drive from failures, but they do cause excess heat generation in your electrical cabinet. So that's a kind of a traditional way to get rid of the excess energy in a VFD. Next, we'll talk about how a line regen unit works and what its benefits are. A line regen unit essentially replaces the input rectifiers to the drive. So you'd have your line regen portion of the topology here. And then on the right hand side, you would keep your standard DC bus and output IGBTs of the drive. So in a standard motoring operation, the regen would act as the input rectifier and supply electrical power to the drive and then to the motor. In a generating operation, the electrical energy generated from the motor flows through the drive to the regen unit and then it is able to put that energy back onto the line, reducing your net energy consumption. And thus, it creates a two-way street for power from the, or from the mains to the motor and back. The benefits of a line regen unit are that it reduces your net energy consumption and thus your energy costs. It also eliminates the need for a braking resistor, which increases the heat in your electrical cabinet and requires cooling. Finally, because it reduces your net energy consumption, it's environmentally friendly. So those are the basics of a line regen unit, how it dissipates the excess energy from a generating mode, and the benefits of adding it to your system.